peace and blessings guys so before i show you guys a video my phone died towards the end of it uh that's why you see me stop talking but i want to say this i want to add on to what i was saying that um there's they do a satanic rituals when the agents come your way and they destroy you there's a ritual they're doing in the spiritual realm this is very true this is very real if you look at um uh, the book of Judges where Samson died, the, his enemies that cut off his hair, they all they were, they were all celebrating satanic, demonic rituals. So yes, when the agent comes your way, Delilah, agent. Judas, agent. There's agents throughout the Bible, guys. So best believe if, Ju if Judas was an agent and Jesus was around him, okay, there's 12 disciples. One of them was an agent. Okay, best believe if you had 12 people around you in the circle, there's going to be one agent. There's going to be one devil. You're not better than Jesus. And that you being a man, you on C I'm pretty sure Samson was on Seymour attention. Okay. And he got off Seymour attention. Here comes the agent. Here comes Delilah, the pretty woman, the strange woman, which flatters with her tongue, who her mouth dri drips as a honeycomb, but her anger is bitter as warm uh, wormwood, sharp as the two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her, te her steps take a hold on hell. Okay, so when Samson, when they when they did what they did to Samson, they had a ritual. They celebrated. Okay, so energy vampires, they will celebrate when you get a spirit, when you get spiritually assassinated. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget, guys, to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Someone said, Mark, why do energy vampires, after they drain you, they, ce they celebrate? They celebrate. I think he meant, why do they celebrate? They celebrated you because there is a handler in the spiritual realm. A fallen angel, a high-ranking demon who was sent to destroy you, who was sent to lead you in the path that God placed you on the narrow path to make you go backwards. And they get rewarded, guys. This is a real spiritual warfare we're living in. Yes, yeah, Satan rewards people who do his work. Satan rewards people who are, who are agents working for him to try to tear you down. All you children of God, all you children of the Most High, best belief, Satan is working through people. He's trying to use somebody. And best belief, when the mission uh, gets completed, when they hurt you, betray you, uh, get you to go back to your sins, get you to go back to your vomit, to get you to go back for, you know, something that God has delivered you from, Satan is going to reward those people. So some, that's why someone said, said you know, why, why do the energy vampires, after they drain you, why do they celebrate? That's why they celebrate, guys. Because they were they were assigned to you. They're, these guys, they're, these are spiritual assassins. Okay? Energy vampires, spiritual assassins. Okay, a lot of the people who can't see what about these energy vampires, too, right? What about these spiritual assassins? One thing about these demons, right? They come when they first meet you, right? And see, one thing about an agent. Let's talk about agents real quick. One thing about an agent. Agents are always sent to you, okay? They always, oh, shoot. Agents always come to you. They always, and see, why do they always come to you? Why is it never you going to them? Why is it always them reaching out to you, right? It's because they were sent. Somebody in the spiritual realm, some demon sent them your way. I'm telling you guys, y'all gonna start getting spiritual, bro. You gotta understand, we don't battle against flesh and blood. Satan is using people to try to get you to get off the path. Now, not everyone who comes your way is an agent. Let's not be paranoia. Let's not operate in fear. Not everyone who comes your way is an agent. I gotta always say this because there's always people who have the spirit of fear in them. Now they think that everyone's an agent. Like, no, guys, chill out, chill, okay? So... Always understand, that's why they get rewarded. And see, when they drain you of your energy, my battery, my phone has 10% left. When they drain you of your energy, right? Now they feed it because they drain you of your energy. Now they harvest the energy from you. Now they feel energized. Now they feel more alive, okay? I'm telling you, this is real, bro. There's many times, guys, where like a satanic agent was sent my way. And remember, like I said, God allows these things to happen. All these devils that come your way, they're actually just making you better, okay? All you anointed ones, all you God-fearing people, they're actually making you better, Okay, what was meant to be evil was actually going to be meant to be good. And you're going to see it, see it in the latter end. You're going to see it in the long run. Okay, so check this out. Okay, uh, an agent, you know, this person was like, oh, yeah, we're married and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, cool. Like, I didn't, I didn't think that we're fornicating. But see, guys, when you get married, you want to have paperwork. Okay, and the Bible talks about how when a man and woman came together, yes, he made a covenant to God, but it was also a form of paperwork. Because when you divorce someone, you need paperwork too. So doesn't it make sense that when you marry someone, you would have paperwork? And also when you divorce someone, you would have some type of paperwork, okay? So we didn't get any paperwork, right? And she was like, and this this strange woman, she told me everything I wanted to hear. She told me everything, that strange tongue. And see, I'm so glad I went through it because you got to you gotta go, to, to, to get to where you're trying to go in life, you got to go through it. You got to go through hard times. You got to go through being betrayed. The spirit is moving. The spirit is working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Okay, you gotta go through it, right? And see, as you're going through it, it's actually building and molding your character, right? And even the Bible says that 
um, God is in control of chastising. So when God's chastising you, he, uh, so when you're getting heartbroken by these ages, right? They're actually making you better. The Bible says that sorrow of the heart actually makes it better. Okay, that's in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 3 to 4. Let me read this real quick. I don't want to say this wrong. 7 to 4. Okay, so it says, actually it's in verse 3. Okay, so it says, sorrow is better than laughter. By the sadness of the face, the heart is made better. So some of you guys got, got some of you guys have pride in your heart. You don't know it yet. Okay, you're blinded by your over righteousness. You're blinded. You're blinded by your pride. Okay, so some people guys that have you know they have a heart that's not that's not pure yet, and that's okay. Okay, and the Bible says, "Bless are the people who are, who hearts are pure, for they shall see God." Okay, so so we gotta understand when your heart's not pure, God's gonna send someone your way to hurt you, to betray you, and in that in that process and that molding is actually making you better. Okay, that agent, yes, that agent was sent from the devil. Yes, that agent will be rewarded in Satan's kingdom because that's how it works. Just like how us children of God, we're going to be rewarded in the kingdom of God by us doing what God calls us to do. Us seeking the Father, and, uh, us worshiping the Father in spirit and truth. Us seeking God's kingdom daily. His seeking his righteousness. You know, helping the homeless out. Helping God's shepherds. Helping God's sheep. Okay, just help. Just helping. You know, but be in love. Being the light. That's what we're called to do, right? Being the salt of this earth. So yes, as we're doing that, okay, as we're doing that, um, you know, God's going to reward us, okay? Help, you, help people battle sins. But guys, uh, there's a lot of our people that's, that's out here suffering demonic strongholds, suffering a, a certain demons, and somebody got to be a light. Somebody got to help these people out, okay? Many are called, few are chosen, okay? Somebody got to help these people out. Somebody got to let people know that there's certain things that they're doing that's opening doors for demons in their life, okay? Opening doors for Satan, uh, building demonic strongholds in their mind. Somebody got to be the light. Somebody has to. Someone has to deny themselves, pick up the cross daily, and, and, fo and follow him. Somebody has to, bro. Because if it wasn't for that, we would all be lost. If it wasn't for Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we would all be lost. Okay, so someone has to be bold like a lion and tell people the truth. Someone has to. Okay, there's a Bible verse. Let's go, let's go, let's get it, let's go, bro. Let's go. Psalm chapter uh, 94, verse 16. Okay, check this out, check this out. So it says, and people, oh man, people always say this in the comments. Mark, you always talk about demons. You always talk about evil, you know? And so check this out. Okay, and these, these type of people, <laughs> man, man, whatever. Okay, Psalms, <laughs> Psalm 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will? So let me know in the comments who will, guys, in the live. Who will stand up for God? Okay? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will expose evil? Okay? Who will expose the devil? Who will, ex who will expose his schemes, his plans, his devices? Who will? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will? I want to see in the comments, bro. I want to see. I want to see. So Detroit said, I, uh, Anthony said, I will. Patrick said, I will. Okay. Here I am said, I will. Okay. Sunshine said, I will. Uh, Joseph said, guys, let's use our spiritual gifts to further the kingdom of God into the world. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And see, a gift is a talent. I had someone hit me up on Patreon telling me, he said, Mark, um, when the Bible talks about gifts and how uh, he blesses us, right? And yes, God could give you money because let's say God could give you money, right? Now you could, you know, help out the homeless people, help out the starving children all throughout the world. And that's also a talent too, okay? You know, it could also be a spiritual gift because yes, God could give you physical gifts. God gets, give people, has blessed people with talents to be uh, boxing, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be, right? Whatever, um, let's say maybe God has blessed you with the gift to build houses, okay? Bless you with the gift to invest, you know, being wise to, Put your money in certain places. So also, he, me, I'm more focused on the spiritual gifts. I'm more, I'm more focused on that because that's how you save souls. Okay, yes, God could bless you with physical gifts and you could, you know, help people in the flesh, you know, get people, you know, food, you know, um, money, clothes, stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But also, when you use those spiritual gifts, it's to save souls, okay? So, you know, I see a lot of people saying, I will, okay? I see a lot of people saying, well, all right, for sure, for sure. Okay, so I want to say that. So it says, who? one last time. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So yes, I'm going to expose evil. Yes, I'm always going to be exposing these demons, these devils, these agents, because that's what God called me to do. So anyone who tries to condemn me for doing that, you're an agent. You're 100%. Because when I go to these people's channels, I see no videos. So you're just on the sidelines watching, scoffing at someone who's actually putting in the work. 
you're an agent. You're these are agents. These are your agents. I'm telling you, man. So so the Bible, someone even told me, you know, Mark is is agents in the Bible. Y'all know Judas Judas was an agent. Y'all know that, right? Judas was an agent. But let's go over this verse. Okay, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16 to 17. Okay. The Bible explains, see, in the Matrix, the movie The Matrix, it, it showed this verse. If you paid attention to the second movie in the beginning scenes, it showed this verse. Even these people in Hollywood, they know they know this. They know about agents. They know about Satan running this earth. They know that. But a lot of these Christians, they don't, they don't know. So, so Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16 to 17. Behold, I have created the Smith. Okay, in the Matrix, what they call it? Agent Smith, right? Agents, okay? Behold, I have created the Smith that blows the coals in the fire and bring forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So yes, God has created some people to be destroyed. Yes, God has created some people to be destroyed. I gave you that verse earlier throughout this live. I was talking about there's some vessels of honor and some vessels for dishonor. So yes, God has created some people to be destroyed. Okay, check this out. Verse 17, these agents that are coming to destroy you, that are, that are forming up weapons. Ooh, check this out, check this out. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. What do agents do? They form weapons. They try to destroy your, they try to destroy you, right? And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Okay? Anyone who tries to rise up against you in judgment, it says, thou shalt condemn. Okay, so yeah, so now people be like, you know, Mark, you know, God didn't create people to be destroyed. All right, so let, let me, you know, the Bible says to prove all things, so I'll prove it. The Bible says to prove all things. Let me prove it. I'll prove it. Okay, Romans chapter 9, verse 21 to 23. Have not the power, the potter power over the clay and the same lump to make one vessel into honor and another to dishonor? Remember, I was telling you guys that verse earlier. And it says, what if God willing to show his wrath to make his power known, enduring with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. Okay, check this out. Next verse. And that he might make his, his known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore before prepared unto glory. Okay, so yes, there are some people who were created to be destroyed. These agents, a lot of these say, now, now 